Hey, what's up folks? This is Jesse with Keeping It Real Finance, the channel that always has your back and tells it like it is. Well, today's video is going to be all about how to stake your crypto and earn big interest. So in this video, what I'm really gonna do is kind of show you the places that I've found the various coins make the highest amount of interest. And let me preface this by saying that I am US based, so I do not have access to the full Binance. No, I'm not gonna go through a VPN because I don't wanna get audited by the IRS. <laughs> but uh, I, I am gonna provide you with a spreadsheet in the easiest way that I know how to do this so I can break it down for you where you can find these rates and make big interest on your crypto. So there's a lot of people that get into the crypto space. Sometimes you sign up with something like a Coinbase or, or somewhere else, and then you just kind of stay there and you don't always get really good returns on your coins that could be staked. And so that's the entire purpose of today's video, all right? So staking coins are fantastic. They will make you money whether the market is going up or down. You will continue to accumulate more. And some of these coins are really good ones to hold, all right? So that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click the bell, you'll be made aware whenever I post time-sensitive content, all right? And now let's get it going. So as I mentioned in the intro, the easiest way for me to explain uh, where to stake and how you can get these high returns is through making an easy to read spreadsheet, which is something that I love to do on this channel. <laughs> so with that, here's today's spreadsheet. So what you can see first here in the sheet is I have this categorized uh, first by project name. Next, we have the coin. Uh, then we have where to stake it. Uh, we have reward percentage, APR versus APY. We have the schedule, and then we have the minimum, all right? So looking at our first one on the list here, we have Atomic Wallet Coin, which goes by AWC. So where you can stake this is in the Atomic Wallet. Now, in the where to stake category, every single one of these is found in your app store. So Atomic Wallet, Celsius, Exodus, Moonlit Wallet, Terra Station, Trust Wallet, and Voyager are all apps in the App Store. Now, let me just say that I am US based, so if you're somewhere else around the world, you may not have all of those, okay? Now, in terms of Atomic Wallet, on AWC coin, you can be making anywhere between 17 and 23%. Now the catch here is that you need it on the uh, Binance chain. So uh, Atomic Wallet Coin is actually on two different chains. Half of them are on Ethereum, half of them are on Binance. You need the Binance version, okay? Now all, all you would have to do here is simply buy BNB coin, that is the Binance coin. You would swap it for AWC and then when you put it onto Atomic Wallet, you would need a little BNB on the side to pay the fee to stake it, okay? That's all you have to do. And so that will reward anywhere between 17 and 23% APY. Uh, for those who don't know, the difference between APR and APY is APY compounds each month, whereas APR does not. Uh, then you have a schedule of getting those rewards weekly and there is no minimum. Now the 17 to 23%, uh, the higher it pays is based on how many AWC coins you're holding, okay? They do have a tiered system. Uh, so the lower tier pays 17%, the middle tier is 20%, and the upper tier is 23%. Fantastic, right? Next, on Atomic Wallet, we also have Band Protocol and Zillica. Uh, both of these pay 13%, which is awesome. Uh, that's APY, it's weekly, and there is no minimum. So with most of these, I would probably recommend if you were going to stake any of these on Atomic Wallet, buy that coin somewhere else on another exchange and then send it to Atomic Wallet, okay? Now, uh, Celsius. So the Celsius options are a little bit different here. So we've got uh, Bitcoin, and Bitcoin on Celsius pays 6.2% APY, and that is paid weekly. 
That is fantastic, okay? Now we also have uh, Matic on Celsius, which pays 10.51% APY. That's the highest I've seen of that one anywhere. I don't, think, I don't think I've seen higher. So if you know somewhere higher, by all means, leave it in the comments. This video is not intended to capture everything, but it will capture most of them, all right? Uh, next, we have Synthetics. SNX paying 13.99%. That is massive for synthetics. Haven't seen that higher anywhere else. And then I also want to include in Ethereum as well, paying 5.35%. Uh, That's really good, and you're getting those rewards weekly. Uh, now, Celsius is super easy to transfer into. Again, you would probably buy elsewhere. You can buy on Celsius. Uh, in my case, I had already owned the coins on different exchanges. I simply um, sent them over to Celsius. And then you don't have to do anything to stake these. So that's one thing that's different between Celsius and Atomic Wallet, as on Atomic Wallet, you are paying a uh, gas fee, a transaction fee, when you go to stake. So if I'm staking a project that's built on the Binance chain, uh, I need to go ahead and have a little bit of BNB available to pay that gas fee. On Celsius, you don't have to do that at all. Uh, you're also not locking it up for a certain period of time. You simply move it in there and it starts making interest after it's been in there only a week. So, fantastic. Really like Celsius. Uh, next, we've got the Exodus wallet. Now, I'll fully disclose that I don't have any holdings in the Exodus wallet right now. Uh, but one of them that stands out to me is this ontology at 16.72% APR. Uh, in terms of the schedule, I do not know the schedule on Exodus, uh, but there is not a minimum there. So anyway, that one, uh, it, it, that's a fantastic rate, I think is, is the bottom line here, right? The rate's so good I had to put it in the video. <laughs> uh, next, we've got the Moonlit Wallet, and we're going back to Zillica. So I actually have my Zillica staked in the Moonlit wallet. So what I did originally was I bought my Zillica through Binance, I sent it to the Moonlit wallet, and I went ahead and staked it. Uh, now, one thing that's a little different with the Moonlit wallet is that in order to claim your rewards, you then have to basically pay a fee for it. And so if all of your holdings are staked, then you have nothing to pay the fee. Uh, likewise, if your rewards get so high that the fee gets higher than what you have on the side, then you may need to add some additional coins. So currently, with my Zillica, I have more rewards uh, available than I do uh, free Zillica on the side to pay that fee. So I actually need to move some Zillica into Moonlit Wallet so I can claim my rewards. <laughs> so a little bit different on how that one works. Now, the Moonlit Wallet uh, was offering 12.82% APY, uh, which is pretty great. Uh, and that one pays daily. So that one's constantly moving. Every day you check it, it's going up. Love that, all right? Next, we have uh, Terra and the T Luna is the coin. And this is on Terra Station. So this is their wallet. Now, what's crazy here is uh, depending on who you, who you go with, for the staking. There's lots of options here. It can be up to 20% on Luna. Uh, that is APR. Uh, in terms of the schedule, I do not know the exact schedule of it, um, but uh, there should not be a minimum on there. And that is a fantastic offer. Now, I am aware that Voyager is also now offering Luna staking. That's a new thing. And I'm pretty sure the rate was somewhere around 5.75. In this case, you could get up to 20%. So this, in essence, dwarfs that. So the good thing with Voyager is the ease of use. Voyager is not intended to transfer coins elsewhere. It's intended for you to buy the coins and keep them there and earn your interest, okay? So if you were going to use Terra Station, I would recommend you buy Luna somewhere else, like a Binance, a Coinbase, something like that, and transfer it over to Terra Station, okay? Next, this is one of my favorite ones that I actively participate in, is the BNB coin that I have staked in Trust Wallet. So currently, and, and this one's kind of interesting because the reward percentage seems to fluctuate nearly daily, and it also seems to pay more when the market's going up. So I'm not 100% clear on why it fluctuates and why it goes up when the market's up, 
but I'm all for it regardless. <laughs> so uh, with my trust wallet, the current rate that it is getting rewards at is 24.21%. And that uh, pays out daily. So that is fantastic. That is absolutely awesome. This is one of my favorite ones that I like to watch on a daily basis that I actively track is my BNB coin that I have staked in Trust Wallet, okay? Now, uh, Trust Wallet is owned by Binance, uh, but if you were going to stake BNB, you're probably better off buying your BNB through Binance or somewhere else and then sending it to Trust Wallet to then stake it, okay? Uh, that is a fantastic option. One of the best that I've found. And by the way, in this video, I'm not talking about any kind of yield farming or anything like that. I, I'm also aware there are some rates that are out there around the world that just aren't available here in the US. I can't really speak to that uh, because again, you know, I can only show you what I have access to, okay? Lastly, Voyager. So in Voyager, some of these rates here. So we've got Bitcoin at 5.75%. Cardano at 5%. The best one on here, Polkadot, 12%. That is massive. No one else that i found is doing 12% on Polkadot. I've seen a couple different platforms around eight. Uh, Celsius was over eight. I think it was 8.88, uh, but I have not seen anyone else do 12%. They also offer USD coin. Uh, this is USDC at 9%. And with the VGX token, you can get 7% um, if you have 500 staked. Now, that is going to change when they roll out the loyalty program. Once the loyalty program is live, it will not have a minimum for VGX. You will simply just earn your 7%, okay? Uh, but the, the nice part with Voyager is similar to Celsius. You're not locking it up for a certain period of time. You're not sending your crypto anywhere. You're simply buying it on the platform and holding it. So. That is a fantastic option um, for anybody who's looking for ease of use. I would tell you, uh, out of all of these, the easiest to use platforms in this entire list are Voyager, Celsius, and Trust Wallet. They are definitely the easiest. The other ones get a little more complicated, okay? Now, are they so complicated that you couldn't use them? No, not at all. I think anybody can do this. Uh, but those are my top three easy ones, all right? Now, I do have referral links in the video description for free money bonuses to most of these platforms, so by all means, go ahead, check those out, get yourself some free money. Uh, when you do, you also help support the channel. Um, the bottom line here, folks, final thoughts on these, is I wanted to just kind of give you a list of some of the best rates that I've seen, and that's really what this is. So am I saying invest in all these? No, not at all. Uh, what I am saying is that there's some great uh, coins that are on this list. You know, we've, we've got BNB, we've got VGX, uh, we, we've got Luna, we've got Polkadot. There are some fantastic options. Even, you know, Ethereum's been going crazy lately. That one's getting really hot. If you had all your money in with Ethereum on Voyager, you could be making that uh, 5%, um, or no, excuse me, with Celsius, you could be making the 5.35%. So that's, that's a really great option that's out there to you, right? Uh, like I said, you know, a lot of people that get into crypto, they simply sign up and they buy these coins and then they're just kind of sitting there and they really don't have them in the best place to, to make long-term gains with. And so why I really like staking is this is one of the buckets that I think every portfolio needs is a bucket of coins that are being staked, that are constantly going up in value, constantly earning rewards. So regardless of whatever is happening in the market, these keep on uh, accumulating your position, uh, increasing it, making it more and more and more and more over time, and you're doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> so who doesn't want to make easy money with great rates? And the beauty of crypto is that the rates that are available here are rates way beyond anything that you would ever find in traditional finance. So. You know, something like BNB, for example, I'm making 24% a year, and that's outside of it appreciating. So that's a no-brainer for me. That is one of my number one staking coins is BNB, and it's for that reason, okay? 
So something uh, else that I, I wanna explain here before I sign off on this video is kind of the difference between APR and APY and how that whole thing works anyway. You know, to give you an example here, and they really don't explain this on any of these platforms, so it's sort of like you need to figure this out on your own, is when something like Voyager says, hey, we're offering 12% on Polkadot. They're not offering 12% for that month. They're offering 12% divided by 12 months of the year, meaning they're giving you 1%, okay? <laughs> So, so that's how this actually works. Now, APY is better than APR because it's compounding. So if you can get APY, that's better. Uh, something that I like better are the ones that reward daily, like Trust Wallet, or the ones that reward weekly, like Celsius. So, uh, you know, I, I kind of like to get those rewards uh, faster than monthly, if possible. But I still have some pretty good holdings on Voyager as well, where I'm getting those rewards monthly. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget that I am also on Twitter at KIR Finance, where you can find me tweeting and retweeting on a regular basis, so check me out there. And for a friendly reminder, this is Jesse with Keeping a Real Finance channel that always has your back and tells it like it is. And I will see you on the next one. Later.